Testing, testing, testing. Ayo, hey, look in the upper left corner. There is a link to my Twitch page where there's a poll. I would love it if you'd go there sometime during the stream, fill out the poll. Just some simple questions. That would be cool. Peace. All right, y'all ready to get this party started? Let's do this. Okay. All right, welcome to the stream. This is the PJK underscore stream, and you are very welcome. Thank you for being here. Slightly different setup than we usually do. Normally I'm looking into a better camera over there. But right now I'm looking into the camera on my monitor here, my uh, cinema display. Uh, remember those? Apple had a cinema display? Well, I've still got one. <laughs> it still works. Um, but uh, yeah, today's going to be a, a start of a series of different kind of streams. And if you've clicked through the link off of Twitter or what have you, you know that we're going to be doing retro gaming today. And that is uh, uh, going to be uh, a, an ongoing series that I'm going to do where I go and I, I'm using emulation mode right now, but I'll go back and I'll play old console games from the birth of console gaming, like the Atari 2600 and the Intellivision and what have you. And then I'll also be playing things from the old Apple II Plus, which was my very first video game system. I remember when I, you know, all my friends were getting Ataris and I wanted to get an Atari as well. And I asked for one and my dad came home with these boxes and it was an Apple II Plus. I'm like, what the hell is this? Probably the best thing he's ever done for me. <laughs> it, uh, it gave me a lot better experience with uh, computers and programming and things like that. And I learned how games were built. I actually built a game and won uh, a science fair in junior high school with it. Um, just neat stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of start this off. I'm using a uh, piece of software called, what's it called? Oh, dang it. For the Mac. And it's called Open Emu. Open Emulator, I guess, but Open EMU. And it's free. And it has emulation capabilities for a bunch of different consoles and stuff. And what's really neat is you can map, in my case, my Xbox One. Uh, controller, I can map the old controllers to this and say, okay, so if it's the Super NES, you know, there's or the NES, there's my up, down, left, rights, and my A and B right there works just fine. Uh, for the Atari, since it's got a joystick, I'm going to be using this as my joystick, and the A button, since the joystick only had one button, A. <laughs> there you go. And that's how we're going to play the Atari games. And um, to give you a sense of, you know, like I said, this is a different kind of stream today. Um, we got different layouts. Also, if you're coming to me from my Twitch stream, let me uh, point you out. If you're if you're coming to me on my Twitch stream, look down in the in the the panels down there. One of them says "Feed the Streamer." I've already eaten dinner tonight, so you don't need to click that. <laughs> it's like it's just a, a goofy thing that I'm testing out. Um, that uh, you can buy the streamer 
you know, some sushi or some pizza or some whatever, and it'll be delivered. And I've got a special thing where it's like, if you do that, then I will put your name up on a special screen. The screen looks like this. Let me switch over. And it's powered by TreatStream. And instead of your mom, it'll say your name. And I will review it and eat it and do all that good stuff on stream. But you don't have to do it tonight. I've already had pizza and I'm stuffed. <laughs> so, um, but that's kind of fun. I, I just, I, it's in beta. I've never tried it before. I thought I'd just see what, what it was all about. But for right now, for our purposes, we're going to get into the Atari 2600. And to give you a little bit of background on this thing, let me switch over to this mode. And um, so this is the Atari 2600. This is what it looks like. As you can see, the joystick is literally a directional joystick with a button, one button. Those things broke all the time because we beat the shit out of those things. And, uh, you, know, you know, they say that you have a controller throwing moment. Those controllers, they, they must have sold 10 of those controllers per console. Just that's how, that's how much we beat the hell out of those things. But um, to give you a little background on this, I put together a few... Yeah, I put together a slideshow presentation for you. No, no, I put together some pictures and stuff to give you an idea of the vibe that was the Atari vibe back in the day. This was the night early, was it late 1979, 1980, 1981? These things were just huge. Atari was the top of the pile. There were you know, a couple of other systems out there, but they just didn't have the titles that Atari had. Atari had Defender and and you know, Berserk, we'll play a little bit of that. They had Asteroids, they had Centipede, they had Tempest and Pac-Man and all these things. Like they, just, they just got the titles. Now, the graphics, as you can see, weren't that great, but it's like, okay, this was the thing. And, you know, they just had shit tons of software. So it was like, okay, out of all the other consoles out there, this one was getting the most, you know, support from first party, which is Atari themselves, and third party of companies like Activision and Parker Brothers and stuff like that. And so they were just booming in the day. I mean, you know, this was how they advertised their stuff. You know, it's like, here's Space Invaders. Here's everyone else's Space Invaders. Here's our Missile Command. Here's everyone else's Missile Command. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. You've got exclusives to things. Um, and this was the feeling they were trying to evoke, right? Of, you know, playing in the living room on this beautiful color television. And, and you know, you got your sister there. And everyone's having a good time. And we're just, you know, rocking and rolling. Here we are playing Space Invaders, a single-player game, but both of these people have controllers in their hands. Both of them are having a blast, and then there's two people without controllers in their hands that are just mesmerized by what's going on on that screen. Like, my God, this is the best shit ever. <laughs> and they're having... The, look at the faces lit up. They're having a great time. Look at this. Another single-player game, but we got... You know, little bro and little sis, you know, very competitive. Look at the look on her face. And then look at how fucking happy dad is up in the background there. He's just shitting himself. He's having such a great time. And this was the the feeling they were trying to evoke with video games, right? It's like, oh my God, so ridiculously exciting. And look at all the, you know, console games you can collect there, the little cartridges and stuff. Wow, this is amazing. And to give you a sense of the advertising campaigns, here's one here for Yar's Revenge. You're a fly named Yar on a quest in space. You attack the shield of the Kotile's base. But watch out, Yar. He knows where you are. Yar's revenge is new from Atari. Have you played Atari today? With ion zones and evil drones, there's nothing else like Yar's revenge. The way out space game that's new from Atari. Who else? Look at that. You got your mom to play video games with you. Have you played Atari today? That was the jingle, right? You know, have you played Atari today? And while we're on the subject of Yar's Revenge, I thought I'd, I'd dug up this this commercial here, which has a very young Seth Green in it, and it's creepy as hell. You'll know you'll know exactly the point where it's creepy as hell. So let's check this one out. Genie, hold on. Mom and Dad said I could play Yar's Revenge. Revenge? Who's getting even with who? You'll see. Yar's Revenge is a video game cartridge you have to buy separately Creepy. to play on the Atari video computer system. Your parents hook it up to the TV. Now you're supposed to be Yar, fighting a bad coach up. <laughs> you got him, Genie. Can I stay up late? Good night, Steven. This is the Atari video <laughs> computer system. Yar's Revenge and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. Have you played Atari today? Oh, yes, that was the thing, right? And... You know, this was the goal, right? That you wanted to be that kid, right? <laughs> Where it's like, look how 
fucking happy I am. I got my video game system. I got a ton of cartridges. Grin from ear to ear. That's what you wanted. That's the feeling you were trying to evoke. This is the the, the like the movie, The Christmas Story. He even looks like Ralphie in this picture, actually, doesn't he? Where it's like, okay, here's my guy here, and if only I got this one toy for Christmas, I could be that guy right there, happy, thrilled. My life has been made. And so you'd get the J.C. Penny catalog out, and you'd go and look up and say, okay, here's the page that's got the Atari system on it for only one hundred and forty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. And you get the base system with a, a game called Combat, which totally sucks. We'll play that tonight. And uh, then, you know, the, the key, though, is you get a lot more cartridges. Get more of these games. These were, you know, what, uh, $21.95 a pop. <laughs> or two or more, you can get them for nineteen seventy five a pop. You know, that, that, back in the day, that was still considered expensive. They're $60 a pop now and a lot more complex. But it's like what you wanted was that catalog, the big catalog. And so... Come Christmas, this was the box you were looking for under the tree. This is what the box looked like, um, and you wanted to have this experience on Christmas morning. This was you wanted to be this kid and that kid, and it's like look how freaking happy they are. As a parent, you won Christmas when this happens. Look at these kids having a blast. They just got their Atari games out and they're checking them out. They haven't even plugged the thing in and they're thrilled. And like look at this kid, he's yeah, yeah, got me an Atari. Look at the faces on these kids. They're just loving it. It's like, this was the thing, right? You got the Atari system. And so a bunch of games, you know, you and you're holding them up with your family and having a great time. It's like, this was the thing. Let's get this big collection of games. Look at Kaboom. What the hell? This kid's happy about that? Target fun? Who bought these games for this kid? Jesus. Anyway, this was the setup, right? So you plugged it into an old CRT, cathode ray tube TV. And uh, you have your Atari console there with some switches on the front. You chunk a cartridge in with that nice, satisfying chunk when it goes in. Had a couple of joysticks. They, uh, they always shipped with two joysticks because they wanted you to do player and player versus player. Combat was the first game bundled in there. It was bundled in every Atari, and that was a basic two-player game. It's a tank on this side and a tank on this side, and you pew, 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 shoot at each other. That's all you needed to get started, and then everything goes from there. They had tennis and basketball and football, and ball, you know, all types of games where you could play player versus player. Um, one thing I wanted to note is that these, cart these consoles had um, very simple controllers. The joystick was just an up, down, left, right with one button. This controller, though, has not been made since, and I miss it, especially when I'm playing racing games. This was the paddle controller. All it was was something that you dialed left and right, left and right, left and right, and one button on the side, and that could be a click to fire, or that could be, you know, for Tempest, it was left, right, left, right, bang, 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 bang. For driving games, it was real easy to do driving games. You could get really precise on your turns and stuff. Try playing Forza Horizon 4 with this thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know any car that's got one of these, but I do know cars that have one of those, those steering wheel things. And it's like, it would be so much easier to just go, okay, there's your gas and there's your steering wheel. Go nuts. Nobody's even tried to make one for modern consoles now. And I think it would, I, you know, here's your billion dollar idea. Make one of those for modern consoles and sell it in place of those big $300 steering wheel kits that people buy. It's like, just get a simple one here, sell it for 20 bucks. There you go. You'll sell a shit ton of them, I guarantee. One to me. Anyway, but this was the goal, right? You wanted to be the kid with the Atari system, so all your friends would always gather at your house. You know, you'd be the place to hang out, and everybody would be coming to your house and drinking, you know, the the, the Kool Aid and eating the snacks and you know playing the video games and just you know everybody. Well, hey, it's my turn. Give me the controller. Okay, all right, fighting for it. You'd even let your shitty sister play, you know, <laughs> like that's look at the face on her. Like, but it's like, that was the point. It's like, everyone gets to play together. Even your grandparents could take a shot at it, you know? And if, if you did it right, if you're really doing well, you might even get your dad to put down his old Milwaukee for a minute and, and you know, play a game or two with you on the old black and white TV. <laughs> I love this picture. There's so much going on in here. Like you said, you got the, the old Milwaukee, you've got the transistor radio on the table over here. You got him playing the game, kind of leaned over. He's on a couch that is, must be so screwed up that they just put a blanket over it, like a give up. And then the knit Afghan that everybody had in the 70s, right? You had that nif, knit Afghan. And he's on an Aztec rug. The TV is a complete piece of junk. It's sitting on a TV tray, which I guess they took it literally, TV tray. <laughs> and uh, it's just, you know, the walls are kind of like 
you know, subscribe. Look at this coat hanger they've got sticking out of the top of the television. I mean, these guys had it rough, but he could still buy that old Milwaukee, though. Good for him. Anyway, so that was the thing. You wanted, a, you know, this vast library of games, and you wanted as many as you could get. <clears throat> Excuse me. No matter how how bad or good they were, you wanted them, right? I'm sorry. I'm got to clear my throat for a second. And the games were pretty good for the most part. I mean, you know, in, for the day. I mean, imagine this is these games were. You know, we're playing games in 4K right now. These games were 4K, like four kilobytes K. <laughs> so, you know, they were tiny. Um, that uh, you know, they fit on the cartridge, and you got to play them. But you got you know, major motion pictures were made into video games. This was amazing. You could play as Indiana Jones, or you could play as each. Okay, so this wasn't a good example here. <laughs> Both Steven Spielberg movies, but this one in particular was so bad it pretty much bankrupted the company. I think they spent a bunch of money on the license, and it just flopped. It was such a shit game. And it was so bad, they had to bury it in the desert. They had to take all the ex extra inventory, collect it back up, take it out to New Mexico, and bury it in the desert. And they, just a couple of years ago, they had an excavation where they did go and dig this shit up, and they found the cartridges. And, uh, you know, so it's like, okay, <laughs> we found the shitty cartridges. Some of them still worked. So they threw them into a, a television that they had set up on site. And, uh, well, let's just say uh, <laughs> a kid in 2015 was not as excited as a kid in 1981 over uh, these games. <clears throat> so that's kind of where the Atari 2600 had its arc. It came and went, and, you know, it had its, its day in the sunshine. These games do not hold up very well over time. We're going to play a bunch of them. So I didn't put the name of any one game in the, in the stream. Uh, in fact, I couldn't just say Atari 2600 games. There is no such game as that. So... I put Atari Anthology or something like that as the name of the game, which <clears throat> was one of many anthologies they made, which they just put a bunch of these games on a disc and tried to resell it. Uh, so that's not what we're doing here. We're playing the actual ROMs of the game. We're playing them in an emulator, and uh, we're going to see what we can do here. Let's uh, let's switch over. Let me uh, get switched up here, get this minimized here. Okay, let's minimize this. And, okay. So, what we're going to do... Beep. Beep. Uh-oh. Where's my games? There we go. All right. So, we're going to start... I'm going to kind of go through alphabetically. I've got about... I don't know how many games I've got here. 25, 30, something like that. We're just going to blast through a bunch of them. They're very simple games. They're not going to take that long to, to play. But let's, uh, let's start with Adventure. This one was one of my favorites, even though it's the simplest uh, presentation. Speaking of presentation, let's get our... There we go. So this was Adventure. <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead and play. Uh-oh. I have to click the window to get it to recognize me. Boop. Okay, so you start off. This is me. I'm this guy. This little uh, this little block. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this key. And I think this key, yes, opens this. I can drop that. Now let me go over here. Eh. Eh. There we go. I've grabbed a pointy thing, a sword. There we go. And I can kill a dragon with the sword. That was a dragon. Very Trogdor-esque. Uh, and I forget how to do these mazes. Oh, crap. I gotta. That's a bridge I have to go grab. Uh, back up. Oh. Over here. Down here. Dead dragon. Uh, all right. Maybe not. Let's go this way. Oh. Another dragon. Okay. I have a key. What do I do now? I can't do anything with this key. I need to find a... That's the key to the Black Castle, I guess. I have to find the Black Castle. Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, dead end. Shat. All right. 
So as you can see, these games are incredibly simplistic. Put chat back up there so I can see you guys. And feel free if you want to armchair quarterback me here. I don't really exactly... Oh, wait, here we go. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. All right. Oh, well. Okay, I've got a magnet. <gasps> the goblet! Okay. All right. What am I doing? Okay, I got a magnet and the Holy Grail. Oh boy. I was going to grab everything. Uh oh. Ah, go away. You get up there. Alright, I got the goblet. I think I have to make it back to my castle, which, unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure I remember how to get to. All right, here we go. Uh, Back to my castle, and that's how you win the game. Big excitement. So that's how you solved the adventure game. <laughs> Very simplistic, like I said. And somewhere in there is an Easter egg. The programmer hid his name in there, like created by Joe Smith or whatever it was. And uh, it's in there somewhere, but uh, I don't know exactly where. So let's go and do another game. What do you say? So that's adventure. Let's try barnstorming. And every once in a while, I'm going to need to tweak the uh, the output here so that it's kind of centered. There we go. That's pretty good. Some games have different whatever resolutions than others. Now the object of this game is to fly around and avoid towers. Uh, but barnstorming is you fly through the barns and you get points for that. And I guess you, you do bad if you hit birds and stuff too. So let's... Yeah, you go through the barn. Up. Through the barn. Whoop! Oh. Out of the way, birds. Oh. Woohoo! The birds don't kill you, but they get in your way. Okay, I guess that's the end of the game. Uh, 4618. That's barnstorming. Activision. <laughs> there you go. Very simplistic. But, as you can see, you know, they, they were doing their thing. Doing their thing thing. Let's see. Basketball. I played this earlier today and I sucked. I don't think anything's going to change much today with this, but... Let's give it a shot. Basketball. Shoot. Yep, that's pretty much how I play basketball. Nope. Steal it. Oh. Yes. Come on. Steal it. What up now? Oh, it's it's waiting for player two. That's why I'm able to come on, steal it. Oh, you don't want 
one of this. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, I'm... I'm on fire. Ah! Oh! Yes! Alright, so you kind of get the idea. These games sucked ass. <laughs> Look at that. These were terrible games. Terrible, terrible, terrible games. All right, let's play actually one that I think is fun. Well, we'll play Battle Zone first, and then we'll play Berserk, which I think they actually did a good job on. Let's see. Um, so, how do we look here? Okay. Just trying to clean it up a little bit. You know, I don't want to have too nasty of a game. All right, let's go. Battle zone. Uh, Got to click on the window. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, took him out. Come here, you. No! All right, here we go. Ah! Okay. Oh, you suck. Come here, where you at? Oh, come on. Come here, you. All right, now go after this guy. Yes. All right. Oh, oh, oh. You're toast. Uh-oh, got two of them. Got two of them. One behind me. Ah. Ah. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. That's the end of the game. Now you know how Battle Zone is played. You're basically just trying to kill other tanks. So these games, as you said, you know, they're 20 bucks a pop. They add up. But they were usually built by one guy or gal. And, um, you know, that's, uh, they, they weren't expensive to make. They made a bunch of money because they could sell them for 20 bucks a pop. Now this is Berserk. Let me make sure I get this right on the screen here for you. That looks pretty good. Let's see. There we go. Something like that. Alright. Now, Berserk, I loved this game in the arcades. And this is very simplistic. If you touched any walls, you died. If you touched any uh, robots, you died. If you got shot by a robot, you died. If the robot touched you, you died. Let's play. <laughs> that's that's pretty much your rules, and you just got to go from room to room and, you know, survive. So, here we are. Yeah. Got that guy. Yeah. So, you get points for killing the robots, but, oh. This is what always freaked me out, is they would spawn, like, right next to you. You can make them walk into walls. They die if they walk into walls. Let's go over here, see if we can kill this guy. All 
Alright. Gotcha. Come on over here. What? You want some of this? <laughs> Yay! Alright. So this is where it gets hard. Ah! They get smart, too. There you go. But not too smart. Alright, let's see what we got here. There we go. Alright. Ah! Alright, he's just gonna keep fucking me there. Ah! Let's play that again. You can imagine a kid in the 19, early 1980s just going nuts on this game. Ow! There we go. Alright, what do we got? Ah! Oh, come on, I had him. I had him. Alright. And I like how my bullets go faster than theirs. How we look frame rate wise. Ah! Well, maybe not. Their bullets go pretty fast too in this round, I guess. That's berserk. Let's try something else. And if you like what you see, excuse me, if you like what you see, pound that follow button, man. Looking to get some followers here. Let's see. Blackjack I haven't played, I don't think. Let's try this. What does this look like? Cut. Uh, okay. Why not? I have never played this one on, on here. Okay. Oh, this must be how much you want to bet. Great. 25. Got a jack and a three, so I'm 13, and you want to stay. Stay. Double hit. Yeah, so I want to stay on 21. Stay. Lose? Huh. Alright. Let's bet the max 25 again. Alright, I'm at 12. Do I stay? Fuck no. Stay, double, hit. 17. I'm going to stay on 17. You got a 20. Okay, dealer's kicking my ass. Alright. Ooh, I'm gonna split that. Come on, we're split. Double hit. I can't split. I guess I can only double. No, see, I should have been able to split that. You're supposed to split to face cards. Come on. Alright. Alright. 17. I'm going to stay. 19. They win. Alright. Hmm. 13. I 
in with the 17. I haven't won a hand yet, have I? Damn. All right. Possible 19. What do you want to do? I say we stay. Yeah, won something. I think yes, win. There we go. All right, five and a six. Ooh, if I get a f face card, I've got twenty-one. Hit. Hit. There we go. There you go. Twenty-one. Beat that bitch. Oh, stay. Yeah. Win. All right. Mm. I mean, this was this was how the games were played back in the day, folks. They did not look pretty, but this is what we had. <laughs> All, right. All right. I have to keep clicking the window to make my joystick work. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ten and an eight. Eighteen, and the dealer's showing three. I'm going to stay. Dang. <laughs> All right. King. Queen. Yes. Dealer's showing three. Yes, you stay on that shit. And you win. That's how it's done. All right, so there's Blackjack. Atari 2600 Blackjack. <laughs> yeah. And that's just, you know, that's the game, man. That's how they'd play these things. Let's, uh, let's try. Oh, this is a classic, and I sucked at it. Breakout. So let's see what this looks like. All right, this one was the classic that's, you know, the the face that, that launched a thousand ships, right? You know, Breakout. Make sure I got the whole thing on the screen for you here. And uh, as rumor has it, I think it's not a rumor anymore. I mean, Steve Jobs, this was one of his first jobs, <laughs> literally, was to um, code the game Breakout for Atari. And so let's try it. Let's see if we can do the Breakout thing. some English on it. Eh. Ah. They can't all be winners, folks. Jesus, come on. Thank you. I mean, this is excitement. Eh. And controlling it with this controller is really tough. Let's try another round. See if I can break through it at least. Because it's kind of cool when you get in through the other, to the other side. It goes boop, 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 boop. just goes nuts. Ah. Uh. Ah. So when it gets to those angles, that's really tough. Control this with the precision that I'd like. Come on. Jesus. All right. Well, that's breakout. I suck at breakout. I think I prefaced this by saying I suck at breakout. <laughs> so let's try another game. Again, Atari 2600 games. They're not all awesome, but uh, oh, this looks kind of fun. Carnival games. Okay. Right? Carnival. Let's see. From Coleco, 1982. That's right. 
Well, let's try this one out and see what's up. Played Atari today. So all the kids would be in their jammies trying to get their babysitters to let them stay up late so they could play these shitty games. Okay, something slashing at the bottom here. Does not like what I'm doing. Okay, I guess that's the end of the game. All right, carnival. <laughs> Again, they're not all. They're not all going to be winners, folks. Let's check out casino. What's this one all about? All right, I think. <clears throat> I gotta go through and find some variations because you could hit this thing and one, two, three, four, there's four different games here. Let's try game number one. Okay. Let's bet 200. I don't know. I don't know what I'm playing. Oh, okay. I guess it's blackjack. All right. Do you want to stay? Six and a queen. Hmm. I want to hit. Now I want to stay. There we go. It's blackjack. What are you going to do? Let's try. Uh, let's try three. What's this about? It's still blackjack. Okay. Um, oh no, this might be poker. I have a three and a six. He has a king and a five. I'll put two. Okay, yeah. Okay, you want to bet again? Yeah, I don't like my hand here. I folded. Oh well. Eh. All right, I'm not going to try to figure out how their poker game works on stream. That would be boring. Centipede, come on. Right? I mean, look at that. Centipede, babies. Let's go. Let's see here. Let me check my... Yeah, get that centered up. <laughs> Oh boy, this looks great. Oh boy. Centipede. Come here, you. Uh, 
Centipede, baby. I sucked at these games. Uh, Alright, so that's Centipede. <laughs> Pretty rough looking. You can't, you're, you're just a block. But that was a popular game. Sold a lot. Sold a lot. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a lot of games to play here. Here's Combat. This is the one that came in the box. In the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, let's see. So I'm going to kind of do that. There we go. All right. Uh, combat. Let's, and this is why you had two controllers. One for your brother, and one for you. And you beat that ass. of you just kick each other's ass combat style oh you can bounce off the walls I didn't realize that or not combat alright that's combat you get it <laughs> since there's nobody else playing it's kind of Hard to defend. <laughs> Speaking of defend, let's play Defender. Right? Come on. Defender. Everyone loves Defender. Let's go. And... I don't know if I remember how to play Defender. Such simplistic graphics. But people played the shit out of this game. This was a super popular arcade game, and everybody wanted it. I mean, look at the radar that I've got to deal with. The radar is effectively useless. Let's go. Got through round one. No, you can't steal the people. Boom. All right. Ah, go, 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 go. Ah, catch the person! There we go. Defender! Let's go! Alright, round two. Someone's been kidnapped. Catch him. Ah. There we go. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he shot me. Everything's flickering and blinking. Licked and blinking, spits and sparks. And 
Now we're going to play this on future versions of this Atari system, like the 5200 and the 7200, where the game looks a lot more like the game in the, in the arcades. This is just the best they could do with what they had, and think about it, it's like, yeah, that's pretty good for what you have. That's Defender. Atari 2600 Defender. All right. Look at that, Sadie. All right. That's Defender. All right, what else we got? We got Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Come on, Donkey Kong. Let's play some Donkey Kong. All right, let's get over here. Let's do this. Let's do this. How hard can it be? It's Donkey Kong. Time that jump right. Let's go. Let's donkey the shit out of this con. We gotta at least get through one level on this. Sucked so much of these games. So bad at these. I say just screw the freaking hammer. Let's go after this gal. There we go. We got through a level. <laughs> Finally. I don't know what these things were. Okay. That's Donkey Kong. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's try Donkey Kong Jr. Here's Donkey Kong Jr. I probably suck at this too. Let's see. Coleco. You like my retro gaming graphics that I've done up here? All right, let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
How do I? Okay. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's skip that one. I. I not quite sure what I was supposed to do. Hey, here's E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Here comes E.T. And he falls into a thing. out again. I'm supposed to grow my head. I don't know how to grow my head. Ah, uh, there it goes. Wow, what a shit game. Okay, it's giving me an arrow. Oh! oh going this way. Come on. This game sucks balls. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Seriously? Alright, we're going to go to the edge of this thing. keep from falling in the stupid hole. Ah, there's a piece of my ship. Okay. This game sucks so bad. <laughs> ah! No! Go away! Ah! Help! He's gonna rape me! What's he doing? Okay. I'm trying to follow the arrows at the top of the screen, but... something. Okay. Why do I care? I made a flower. This game is so bad. I'm a, I'm, I feel like taking it out in the desert and burying it myself. Ugh. Screw E.T. I hope you die. Die in a fire, E.T. Now, <clears throat> this one's going to be interesting. Ed Freeze. 
from Microsoft made a game for the Atari 2600 based on the Halo franchise called Halo 2600. I haven't played it before. I figure, what the hell? Hang on, let me double check and make sure. I've got as much of it on the screen as we can possibly show. I want to make sure that we do this one right. So this is his take on making a Halo game for a retro console. Ed Freeze. As you can see... Ooh. You can't see until I do this. EDF, Ed Freeze. He works for Microsoft on titles like this. All right, so let's try it out. I have no idea how to play it. Let's go. Halo. Looks pretty good so far. I can't shoot anything. Uh-oh. I'm guessing I want to stay away from that guy. And that guy. And that guy. Shield. Yep. Shit. 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 Ah! Damn! Give me a... Okay, I got a key. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, God. Give me a weapon. I want to kill these guys so bad. Yes! Now, let's see what time it is. Yes! Got a shield. Got another shield. <laughs> Doing some killing now, bitches. What's up with that? Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, what are these? Okay, those don't look good. Let's stay away from them. Okay. Oh. What's up now, bitch? Let's see what's up. What's up? Oh. Oh. Ow. Do I still have my weapon? I hope so. <laughs> we will run out of that room. Whoa, Jesus. Oh my god. Alright. Master Chef is taking it to the streets. Ah. Alright, it's my last man. Master Chef, let's go. Shit. Uh. Alright, that, that was kind of fun. I mean, hard, but fun. You gotta pick up a few things, do some looting. But when you have a room full of enemies like that, ain't much you can do, to tell you the truth. All right, let's see what our next game is. Uh, I would play Night Driver, but it's just uh, not a fun game. Let's do Pac-Man. Right? Pac-Man. Everyone loves Pac-Man. It's Pac-Man. Let's 
scooch that in a little bit. All right, let's see if we can do Pac-Man. Everyone knows how Pac-Man works, right? That's how it works. Come get me. What do you got? Now, Pac Man doesn't supposed to have eyes. Pac-Man had eyes. Pac-Man doesn't have eyes. Six hundred and seven points. That's about indicative of my entire success in the game of Pac-Man. I sucked at Pac-Man too. I sucked at a lot of these games. That's what the whole point was. Here's Pitfall. Pitfall Harry's Jungle Adventure. Hang on, let's get the screen aligned properly. Not all these screens line up right. I'm trying to trying to do right by you guys. There you go. Alright. Let's play some Pitfall. Okay, or not. Some barrels. Swing over the thing. Let's go. There we go. Oops. How do I unleash or let go of this thing? There we go. On oh, the crocodiles. Ah! I guess if they open their mouths, you die. And that's Pitfall. <laughs> Considered one of the better games for the system, I never really was into it, but there you go. I'm giving you a taste of a lot of games really, really fast. Uh, this one I have to see. Porky's. Based on the rated R movie. What's he doing? I don't know. Let's get in here. Let's move this over to there. I'm not entirely sure what the goal of this game is, so we'll figure it out together. Because that's the way we're going to do it. All right, so we're outside Porky's. Okay, so he jumps on the thing and blows it up. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Nope. Okay. Okay. Do not know. No. No. 
no idea what I'm supposed to do in this game. <laughs> All right, that's Porky's. Not anywhere as nearly as interesting as I'm hoping this one will be. That's right, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let's hope this Spielberg outing is better than the last one that we experienced. So Raiders of the Lost Ark. Big blockbuster movie. Still holds up today, actually. So let's see... What we can do is Indiana Jones. Alright. Oh, those are snakes. We don't like snakes. I have something. I don't know what that is. Can't go that way. Oh, we can go this way. What's this about? Um, got that. Got that. Supposed to do. Uh oh. I'm falling. I'm in the quicksand and I'm dead. Uh, okay. Can't go that way. I'm falling. I'm in the quicksand and I'm dead. Falling, I'm in the quicksand, and I'm dead. That guy looks bad. He is shooting at me. I can't do anything. I think he steals shit every time he sees me. Yeah, he steals shit from me. He's a little prick. He's stealing all my shit. Fine. I'll come after you. What? Yeah, he's just humping me. All right, they're not all winners, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Slot machine. How do you frick up a slot machine, right? We're going to find out. We are going to find out how you screw up a slot machine. Okay. Do that one. No. How do you spin? Okay. That's how you screw up a slot machine, folks. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Conan O'Brien on Clueless Gamer played Space Invaders and said it held up. God, I hope so, because, boy, do we need a save here. <laughs> All right, so let's try Space Invaders. I'm going to see if I can get this positioned properly on screen. All these games seem to have a little tweaking that they need to get them properly displaying. There we go. All right, Space Invaders. How do you screw up Space Invaders? Let's find out. Okay. I could see myself playing this too. Hmm. 
This was like a must-have when you had the Atari. Oh, he shit on me. I mean, this was just the game back in the day. Ah, come here. No! Got your ass. Space invaders, man, come on. I gotta get this guy. Shitting all over my base. Uh oh, there goes all my ah. Last ah. All right, so that does hold up pretty well. I'll give him that. Space Invaders, classic Atari game. Classic. Classic, I tell you. All right, let's see what else we got. Spider-Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to suck. This is going to suck bad. I don't know how to play it. We're going to play it. It's going to be terrible. Let's go. Spider-Man. All right, Spidey. So I guess if you hit the people, you die. No! Thwip! Okay. I can't crawl the walls. I can do that. Look at that, I saved myself from a fall by shooting my web. I can't go side to side. <laughs> okay, so that's Spider-Man. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's horrible. Spy Hunter. Come on. Spy Hunter. Bally Midway. Spy Hunter. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Sensitive. We are sensitive. Damn. 
Hey. Okay. Way too sensitive. I suck way too bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Star Wars, the arcade game. Star Wars, man. <laughs> this is terrible. Ah, I guess I'm in the Death Star. Okay. Supposed to shoot those things? I'm not, certain, I'm not supposed to hit them. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Well, that's Star Wars. Um, it sucks. <laughs> One more game that sucks. Superman. And this one really sucked, if I remember it correctly. Okay, there's a phone booth. I can change to Clark Kent, I believe. I don't know what good that does, but Superman. Here we go. I'm Clark Kent. Oh, the bad guys. Let's go. flying I thought that was a bridge I'm supposed to fix no Okay, good, good times. Go ahead and beat this guy's ass. I'm gonna put him in jail. Yeah, more bad guys, I can pick him up. guys in the jail. There's your Superman game. Boy, do I feel like a man can fly. Alright, what else we got here? Spider-Man, Superman, Tempest. How can you screw up Tempest? Oh, we're going to find out. 
We are gonna find out how you screw up Tempest, I have a feeling. Okay. This looks terrible. Oh, this is so bad, it's unplayable. Oh my god, you guys, go to your room for making such a shit game. Uh-uh, I can't even... I like Tempest way too much to play this piece of shit. Alright, Vanguard. I don't even know what this game is. Let's find out. Ugh. God. <sighs> Please don't be that bad. So it's been a trip down memory lane, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my. I feel like I'm controlling this very well. Eh. Alright, that's Vanguard. <laughs> Enough of Vanguard. Uh, Warlords. I don't even remember what this one was about. Hmm. Like a breakout game where you four player breakout? Let's see. It's a four-player breakout, but I can't, I can't do that one without a paddle controller. That's fine. Yars Revenge. Now you saw the commercial. Now let's see if this game is really worth a shit. Let's see. Let's get our screen centered up properly. Yars Revenge, baby. Let's go. So we give creepy looks to our babysitter and say, can I stay up late? And <laughs> she's going, no. <laughs> not, at all. not at all. All right. Killed that son of a bitch. SOB1 4. Alright, let's do it. Get back in here. Uh oh. Ow. Okay. That was close. I can't get hit by my own weapon, though. This rainbow thing that comes from the left is my weapon. Ah. Uh. their bullet. Alright, let's go. Dang. Oh, he got me. Okay. Hmm. Mm. 
Hmm. Last one. Alright. Yar's revenge. Yar got the revenge, alright. Yar. Now I think the last one is Zaxon. Remember Zaxon? I do. Kind of like the first attempt at 3D. Ah, worst attempt. Okay. Zaxxon. So as you can see, <laughs> the Atari 2600 left a little something to be desired. Um, but, you know, still had had its moments, you know, that kind of thing. There's some fun games on there. They're not games that, there were games that we played for hours and hours and hours on end back in the early 80s, and a lot of people played them. It was a very popular system, and not so much today, but... Um, as you can see, the games, you know, they're very simple. Like I said, they, these, these were the first 4K games out there, and that meant 4K in size, not in resolution. So I hope you had fun with this. I'm going to be doing retro gaming, you know, on a sort of a series basis. We're going to go through several consoles. I've managed to pick up ROMs for a lot of consoles, ColecoVision, the other Atari series like the Jaguar and the 5200 and the 7200. I've got stuff for the Apple II+. Plus. Uh, so we're going to be doing retro games, you know, not as a regular feature, but I'm going to kind of sprinkle it in there amongst other games and stuff that I play. And I hope that you'll come back and join me for it and that you'll have some fun kind of going back in time and seeing what, you know, the birth of video games look like. Uh, and we'll be doing that on emulators and we'll be doing it in a style similar to this where I'll play and you'll get to, you know, watch on the on the stream here and uh, hopefully uh, it's kind of fun for you. Maybe it get you digging into emulators and stuff like that yourself and uh, trying to you know, look into the history of video games. It's not. It didn't start with PUBG, I'll tell you that. Well, I hope you've had a great time this uh, Friday evening and uh, have a great weekend. And some of you are graduating this weekend, so congratulations for that. And, um, yeah, I will, uh, let's see, I will see you tomorrow on a stream. And we'll figure out what we're going to stream. Maybe it'll be more retro games, maybe it'll be something else, but uh, leave that to you to figure out. Um, also, upper left here... I've got a poll at my Twitch page. I can't put a poll up on my Mixer page or any of that sort of thing. So go to my Twitch page at that address, PJK underscore. And uh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, I, I want to see some success stories from people that have done things with loyalty points. And uh, Streamlabs has a whole elaborate loyalty point setup, but I just haven't seen anybody do loyalty points yet on Twitch. And so I want to know if you know, if you do follow any streamers that uh, are success stories out there, they're like, oh, so-and-so is doing it right. You got to see what they're doing. I'm looking for inspiration. I also want to kind of throw some things into this channel to spice things up a little bit. If there's anything that, you know, you might want to do to accrue points, but also redeem points for, what would you like me to do for you if you redeemed points? I'm, I don't know what, <laughs> you know, maybe it'll be a, you know, 12 hour stream or something. I don't know. But um, I couldn't do a 12-hour stream, good God. <laughs> but that's kind of up to you. You tell me. So check that out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash PJK underscore. Fill out the, the, the quick poll. It'll take you two seconds, and I would really much appreciate it. Anyway, I hope, hope you've enjoyed uh, Retro Gaming Night. 
and have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.